Hello everyone, Morris here, and today I want to talk about a pretty interesting topic for Axie Infinite Origins, and that is first player advantage. And it's particularly prominent, I think, in season four, even though season four just started for like about a week. And I already feel, I mean, actually, even from the first day that I kind of figured going first just feels so much better to play. And uh, well, then I did a bit of statistics and uh, really just go and collect the data, did a bit of coding, right, just to collect the data and really figured out yeah, it's like player one is actually winning quite a bit. When I say player one, meaning the player who goes first actually has a higher win rate, and that is a bit of a problem. So the TLDR is really about 70% or up to 70% of the you know win rate uh, by going first for the top 100 players, of course. If you look at the leaderboard, top 100 players are all playing toe pass. And I, toe pass, of course, if you manage to knock out your opponent first, like going first, this, this just feels better, right? But I'm trying to argue it's probably not just for toe pass. Um, but let me just uh, go into this article. So I uh, wrote this, uh, published this article earlier, and um, you can find the link in the description below as well. And basically, it's just talking about, um, well, it's the same, same figure here, but I basically, what I did was to just collect uh, 100 matches uh, from the top 100 players. So that is basically what, uh, 10,000 games. Okay, and then see what are the win rates. Of course, most of them involve Topaz, a lot of Topaz mirror matches. And what we see is that it is about, what, 69% win and 30% uh, loss. So uh, do note that uh, this data is taken from 15th of May, which is when I make the blog post and the video. Um, and to share a bit more as well is that here I have another figure, uh, which is probably a bit small, so I'll just make it bigger. Um, so I didn't just do the top 100, I actually did like top 200, top 500, top 1000 as well, uh, just because I say, okay, sure, top 100 is mostly Topaz, um, but then you know, top 1000, maybe there are other teams, and you do see that there's a slight decrease in terms of the win, uh, win rate for player one, but but right, it's still very, very far from 50%, which is what we want. So a lot of the times, of course, I wouldn't want to say, oh, the game is kind of decided like by the coin toys at the beginning, but uh, it just doesn't quite make sense that you know, once you go first, you do have a significantly higher chance of winning. Uh, and it is a problem. And it is, I don't think it's a problem just for Topaz team, but I think it's, you know, I, I never play, well, I never play a Topaz team before, right? I only played Leafy team for this season, and I do feel like uh, it just feels a lot better to play. Um, and there are several reasons, but just zooming back, and I also wanted to share about, you know, how to balance this kind of thing. So. Uh, for player one, the player who goes first, obviously they have a tempo advantage in the sense that they can go first, they deal the first hit, they can you know, disrupt the opponent uh, before they can set up, and uh, and actually in X Infinity also, um, there are actually two other major factors. One is that X is at uh, 400 HP, and that actually means that it's very hard for player two to KO the you know, opponent's Xe. Uh, in their well, second turn, right? So meaning round two, All right? So turn four. But it's relatively easy to pick up a knockout uh, for player one, right? To pick up a knockout during their third round, right? Which is turn five, because well, by then you have three more energy, and the other extra factor is that. Um, Quarantel being at seven means sometimes if the opponent have, uh, if player one has ramp, then they can already use Quarantel in round three, so turn five. Okay, so that is uh, I think one of the main reason, uh, especially with a lack of taunt and everything. Right, that's the main reason why um, you know like being going first is just so good because once you knock out the opponent's Axie, like one of the Axie, of course, especially with Topaz, then they have one fewer Topaz. Um, card, right? So just in general, you limit the uh, opponent's options, right? And removing some of the good cards and replacing them with the revenge cards, which are obviously not as good. Uh, so that's why I think like, player one has has always had that temper advantage, and this is not new as well. So it's not like this new patch has changed anything. 
But uh, what the new pass has changed, I feel, right, is the flip side. So usually, uh, well, at least previously, for player one, uh, you have a tempo advantage, but you have a disadvantage in terms of the cards, right? So you have fewer cards to choose from. Uh, you well, because of well, previously you need energy to keep cards, right? So you can't really keep the cards uh, as efficiently. So you, you you have a card disadvantage if you go first, and that's why sometimes it feels bad going first because you don't really have the cards to play. But now, with the new mechanic, it basically changes everything. So, uh, yeah, if the words are too small, uh, do just go in the description to click the, the link. But uh, basically, I'm just repeating what the uh, what I wrote in the blog. And basically, uh, in terms of um, you know the patch, uh, the two two main things. One is that the player one now draws more card. Uh, well, draws four cards as opposed to three during round two. So that is a plus, right? Uh, and I would say it's, it's a significant plus, but I think the more significant one is the keep mechanic has changed, right? So now player one actually draws three cards first turn, and then second turn draw four cards, and then uh, yeah, they can keep cards, right? Then they have a lot of options in their turn with three energy. So that is, I think, a very, very, very big plus because you, you can just use fragments to keep, right? It doesn't cost you energy. So it doesn't cost you tempo to have the card advantage. So that is really the main one. And the other one is, uh, for me, I'm playing a team without ramp. Okay, so uh, then when I go turn, like when I go first, I can actually also, the earliest I can use Scott and Tail, so I have a no ramp Scott and Tail team, right? If I have no ramp Scott and Tail, then the earliest, that I can use Corintel for as a player one would be round four, right? Uh, which is fine, right? Um, but then now if I go first, I have basically two free keeps, right? Because sure, I don't get to my Corintel uh, until round four anyway. So then I may as well use the fragment, like the extra fragments are more than seven, right? But by the time I get to turn four, I'll have more than seven. Then I can use those for keeping. Whereas if I play as a player two, I can't afford to keep any cards just because uh, if I want to so-called catch up with my Cointel by playing Cointel round three, then I'll have to use, like, I have to keep all my fragments so that I get to seven fragments because I don't have ramp, right? Seven fragments in round three for player two in order to use Cointel. So that's why I feel so bad uh, to play as a player two. Sometimes I just keep the card using the fragments and then I have to delay my Cointel turn, which basically means my front actually probably died already. So yeah, it's not, not the, it just feels bad um, for player two. Um, so a bit of predictions and suggestions as well. So um, I feel like once we get to the, well, now it's a rare era, right? Once we get to the epic era, things could be a bit better just because there'll be more taunts. Um, yeah, so there, there's less of a like, likelihood of the front getting knocked out if there are more taunts. Uh, there are more defensive runes and charms as well. Right, uh, so taunt being one, right, uh, and then also like this more HP or more um, damage mitigation that allows like and the axe to survive for longer. So basically, the front usually right now is just pretty fragile. But if you have some damage reduction kind of thing at the front, then um, maybe this will mitigate this problem. Uh, but still, uh, as long as Topaz is there, I still feel that first player advantage is probably still going to be there for the rest of the season, and I think Topaz is going to be there for the rest of the season. Okay, and then um, in terms of suggestion, I feel like there are a few ways that you can change it. Of course, change it back to maybe player one only drawing three cards in round two could be could be like a small change. Uh, and maybe by just removing, uh, basically, like most of my suggestions about removing the card advantage from player one without changing the keep mechanic, right? So for example, yes, yeah, so you can just remove the free keep for player one. So that's like another way in which, uh, okay, they may be forced to use a fragment to keep. Uh, or maybe even allow player two to have an extra keep during turn uh, round two, then maybe like this will balance it out. But I don't think that actually is that good. Um, yes, yeah, because it's more about punishing uh, player one, I feel, in terms of like having 
card disadvantage as opposed to giving card advantage for player two because I think player two sort of has card advantage already in a way. Um, but I feel like a you know, new patch might be not. So that's why that, that could be done as well. And I think the, the other key one is, of course, Cotton Tail. Cotton Tail now uses seven fragments. Uh, yeah, this number of seven is a bit tricky. Um, I feel like nine would be actually a better one just because then uh, maybe player two can get to it earlier. So that's like one way to see it. And the other way is just to delay, right? To delay the power spike turn for a bit longer. And of course, like uh, Common Tail has, is still one of the best tail card there is. And I do feel like having a nerf is, is it, it will be better for the game or better for like other tail cards to have some chance as well. Uh, yeah, so that's what I want to share for today. Um, yeah, that's, do leave a comment if you have anything to share or any suggestion you might have to fix the problem. And meanwhile, yes, do remember to click go first when you start every battle. So, okay, that's it for today. Good luck in the arena.